to our marketing tip of the week. We all know we have to post lots of things. They say three to five to seven. Gary Vanderchuk says up to 10 to 12, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just do a small number, two to five posts of things per week. And let's narrow it down a little bit. Let's just pick a one or two platforms. Let's not try to do them all because we know we're busy running a business. Let's keep that to a minimum two platforms is perfect. But the question we always get is, I don't have time. Where do I come up with the things to post? There's so many things. Like, what do I do today? Five places that you can get yourself some content nice and easy. First one. You get content from your own shop, your own store, your own place, um, some of your daily activities, some of your specials, your menus, whatever you have going on. Even if you don't think that people or going to be interested in what's happening behind the scenes they really what do. you're making they what have working on what you're doing that day what just easy everyday behind the scenes stuff that's the lowest hanging fruit that is the easiest things to come up with to use for posting secondly post what other shops and things that are similar to yours um, are doing as well maybe not non-competing so maybe not like the one that's down the street or around the corner but i mean whatever you're doing there's also places in like new york and uh, Missouri and Wisconsin there's places everywhere that have a similar style shop that you do so you know make some friends do some collaboration you know share some of the material that they have been putting up as well it gives you a chance to be more creative think of other things and you don't have to think of all that content like you're just grabbing from them and you're reposting some of the things that they've come up with great way to meet new people great way to have content the third one this one is a cool one it's an AI generator I know some of us get like a little off with the AI stuff but just so you know, a quick tip, Bing. If you go to Bing, and if you go to Images, and then you go to Create, they'll let you create through Dolly 3. It's the program, Doll E3. You can create any picture that you want. So if your daily special is a half a bushel of crab cakes and some chicken wings, toss it into the description. It'll throw a picture up that you can use and you can post. You can sometimes be a little silly. Maybe you can be a little festive, but you don't have to come up with anything but a description of what you're selling, what the shop has that day, what the holiday is. You just need a description and then it'll make it for you. And you can post that material nice and easy. If you're using ChatGPT, you can do a paid subscription for that as well. And I'm sure there's gonna be way more image creators and things. That's just the one I've been using because it's free and it's fun. The fourth place we can find information is usually at article hubs. There's a lot of different places that do article hubs like Scoop It, um, Tumblr is another good one, uh, Pocket, uh, HubSpot, um, Up Content, um, Content Studio, Percolate, The Hustle. And if there's like places and articles that go along with what you're selling as well, there's probably a lot of blogs and a lot of things that you can just pick up, reshare, repost, send it out. A key to that is to have some of your opinion, some things, your own thoughts mixed in with it. Uh, maybe even asking a question or taking a poll or things of that nature helps kind of draw their attention. Because if you're just going to post the article, nah, no one's going to read it. But if you post it with a little bit of a, a politically correct, nice and easy, you don't want to rile too many feathers, you're a business owner, remember that. The fifth um, one I have is by far one of the easiest. But I put it at the end of the list because you got to do a little bit of thought. <clears throat> I called this last section inspirations. And make it a, a routine, like once a day, once a week, twice a week. Do it all the time and on a schedule. Put it in your calendar to post um, maybe a quote or maybe a picture that's inspirational or something that's just like again some low hanging fruit nice and easy i usually use these as a way to inspire myself and if people read it great and you'll be surprised how many people actually read some of those things a thought of the day um something nice maybe an affirmation maybe something positive and it's nice and it's easy and it's consistent and it creates that fifth thing that we can use to create content so that's our list five places where you can come up with easy content that makes our five post reminders nice and easy. Try to mix it up a little bit. Try to change some of those things. Maybe an article, maybe a video, maybe things of that nature. But create easy content. So that way you're hitting your five to seven posts per day. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out at the website, www.livelocalmd.com. And be on the lookout. We have the mailer. We have also other fun things to help support your business as well.